Welcome to Engaging the Love of God, a podcast for parents. I'm Pastor Zach, and I'm excited to welcome you to this new ministry of AELC. Our vision is to support our busy parents as they seek to raise faithful children. I can understand the busyness of life as you move from one event to another with your kids. There never seems to be enough time, and trying to squeeze something else in can seem daunting. This is why we began engaging the love of God for you. You will be able to be part of it when you have time. Episodes will be posted twice a month starting this month, September 2024, and will feature discussion on topics that you have asked for, such as ways to discuss faith with kids, personal growth, what does the Bible mean for you today, biblical dialogue, among others. The episodes will run around 20 minutes with questions and activities for future consideration, guiding you into a life not just of ingesting, but of acting on your faith and living into it. One of the other parts we will be doing is offering what is called Lexio Divina. It is a biblical study that asks you to listen to a passage from three different readers and listen to three different questions. Each time you hear the passage, you will be asked to focus on one specific thought. The questions will be, what word or phrase stirs your thoughts or ideas? What feelings are being touched by this passage? And what is the Spirit's invitation to action for you in this passage? As you hear the passage, there will be a short medley in between that and the presenters sharing of their own thoughts and ideas so that there gives time for you to reflect personally. If there are specific passages that you'd like for this process or others that you're curious about that we can discuss, we're excited to invite you to reach out to me specifically so we can plan a podcast around that passage. For example, my favorite Bible passage is Micah 6.8, which many of you may already realize if you've been around Allegheny much. But Micah 6.8 says, paraphrasing, what does the Lord require of us but to seek restorative justice, practice faithful love, and walk in humbleness with God? Since I was 18, this passage has sought to guide my life. I had heard it in church for years growing up, but the summer of my 18th birthday, I was a camp counselor where this passage was the theme for the summer. We talked with the campers and we listened to their perspective of how their lives were impacted by passages like this and the meaning behind it. The notion of doing or of seeking restorative justice is not just a state, but it's an action. It's calling us to be moved for ourselves, for our community, for the world, to look at ways to restore relationships, restore communities, and find ways in and of ourselves to restore opportunities for us to live into what God has for us. Also, the notion of practicing faithful love is just that. It's a practice. We realize we're not all perfect at it, and we still have a lot of work to do but it invites us to participate, to realize that without practicing faithful love, that that restorative justice is incomplete. And it invites us to see one another in the image of God and to look forward for what God has in store, not just for us, but those that we struggle with. And finally, as we walk in humbleness with God, we realize that there is a God who is mindful and attentive to us. He is one that affirms and reminds us to be called to share God's grace and God's humanity and God's humility with ourselves and with the world around us. It is an opportunity that God has to show us the love of God for others. And so while we engage in the love of God in this podcast throughout the year to offer perspectives to one another, to find ways forward. I'm looking forward as we bring on special guests who share their thoughts and ideas, tips on how to cultivate our faith as we become more comfortable talking about that faith 
with our children, no matter what the age. I'm excited to see where this new ministry of AEL, so AELC goes. And as we walk together, that we get to share in this journey together. I invite you to share it with others, to be engaged in it, and to find an opportunity. And maybe it's not all at once, but to share in this opportunity of learning, of expectation, of hope, as we seek to engage the love of God together through this podcast this year. I want to thank you for taking some time as we start this initial podcast and as we look forward to new podcasts coming shortly to share the love of God and to be engaged in it with the world around us. We hope you have a great day wherever this reaches you and that you are able to join with us in engaging the love of God.